Facebook Live, Facebook Live, we on once again. Watchman Yahoo to Israel. Back at you one more time. Um, on his 13th day in August 2018. Ready to get it in, y'all. So let's let, let's let, let, let's rock. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Yahuda Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann, on the evening scripture study on his 13th day in August um, uh, 2018. Let's get ready to get it in. Um, just a disclaimer. Um, I preach the way I do because we don't have a lot of time to be playing. Thanks for uh, chiming in, uh, Christy. Bless you. But I preach the way I do because we don't have no time to be playing. Mark Cox, bless you. Curtis Jeremy, good to see your name pop up, boss. You're a boss out here. Good to see you, man. Um, but I preach the way I do because we don't have no time to be playing. So, you know, I, I just got to I gotta preach the truth raw and uncut. Uh, M Mother Katie, bless you. Sandra, Sandra Ott, bless you. Good to see you chiming in as well. Talk to uh, Raven today. Well, we was texting each other, but um, bless you. Good to see you chiming in. JD, JD, we finna get it in. Um, I gotta preach truth, so here we go. Raw and uncut, we back at it. Let's go to uh, 2 Peter 1. Quick prayer. Christy, bless you. Thanks for chiming in. Y'all hit y'all friends list, because we finna get in deep today again. With fundamental truths, we ain't gotta do no extra. We ain't gotta get super deep. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Joel, thanks for watching. A call reader B. Okay, here we go. Look, quick prayer. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you as humble as we know how, trusting you to send a relevant word to this to your people that we may grow thereby. Send something that will cause us to change, to be morphed more into your image in these last and evil days. We trust and believe that it will be done in the matchless name of Yahushua HaMashiach. We only pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and all man. Let's dive in, y'all. We're going to go um, to 2 Peter 1, right? 2 Peter 1. We're going to do a little reading, but we're going to dissect and get this food out of here, right? Again, clarifying any misunderstanding in Scripture, anything you thought you knew uh, based on what you were taught, we're going to dive straight on in. Um, 2 Peter 1 and 1, look what it said. It says, Simon uh, Peter, his name is Cephas, but uh, a servant and a, a, a apostle of Yahushua HaMashiach to them that have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of Yah and our Savior, uh, uh, Yahushua HaMashiach. Go. You guys go. 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 Don't come back in. Thanks. Sweetheart, sweetheart. Mm. Beverly, bless you. Thanks for chiming in. I'm trying to teach. Huh? Be quiet, Kay. Okay? Thank you. And here come your dog. They 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 bum rushing me, y'all, in my private headquarters. Be quiet. Don't say not another word. Okay. Simon Peter, a servant and apostle of Yahushua HaMashiach to them that have attained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of Yah and our Savior, Yahushua HaMashiach. Unmerited favor, they call it grace, right? Unmerited favor and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of Yah and of Yahushua our Adonai. Or Yahushua, uh, uh, King James Version say our Lord, right? But look. Unmerited favor and peace be multiplied onto you. So we know through the, uh, Ephesians 2 and they said uh, 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 by unmerited favor or by grace are you saved through faith, right? But, but we have our relationship and we maintain a relationship with the Most High through grace, right? They call it grace, right? So through grace. Well, look what the second verse says. Grace and peace be multiplied onto you through the knowledge of Yah. 
and of Yahusha are Adonai. So, so we get a multiple dose of unmerited favor and peace through knowing Yah, through knowing the word. The knowledge of the Most High multiplies your grace and your peace. Right? According as his divine power has given unto us all things pertaining unto life and yodliness. Let me let this dog out, y'all. I'm back. <laughs> According to his divine power hath he given unto us all things pertaining to life and yodliness. Through, here we go again, the knowledge of him that has called us on to glory and virtue. Okay, so he has a divine power. Has he given unto us that pertaineth to everything dealing with life and yodliness? Through the knowledge of him that have called us to glory and virtue. So we're called to, 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 to a moral excellence. That's what virtue is, right? We're called to a, a, a moral excellence but it's through a divine power. It supersedes our natural ability. Because you got to remember all of sin and come short. you got to remember that the carnal mind is enmity against Yah. It's not subject to the law of Yah, neither indeed can be. We have a sinful nature that's anti-Yah. Yah don't see as man see. Man look at the outer pitch, Yah look at the heart. His ways is far above our ways like the heaven is from the earth. Whole two different ball games going on right here, right? But through his divine power, he has a divine power, has he given on us things that pertain unto life and yodliness through the knowledge of him that have called us unto glory and virtue. That's why you got to study. That's why you got to meditate in the word day and night. You cannot have a relationship with him depending on the pastor. You cannot have a relationship with the most high depending on the watchman. Do you need the watchman? Yes, you do. How can you hear without a preacher? And how can he preach except to be sent? But you don't you don't make him you don't make him Elohim. You don't make him uh, uh, the master of your life. You let Yah be true, but every man a liar. Because you gotta study for yourself. That's why Shaul said, follow me as I follow the Mashiach. If the doctrine ain't lining up with the word, we need to wake up. Because if the blind lead the blind, they both fall in the ditch. We need to wake up and start caring about our soul. We'll dig through our wheel with a lawyer, a multi-million dollar wheel with a bunch of houses in the states attached to it. We're going to know that like the back of our hand. We're going to hire folks. But what will it profit a man to gain that and lose his soul? What's most important is your soul. We got to learn to study for ourselves, right? So according to his divine power, he got... He, he got, he got Supernatural power through that process because we're carnal, born in sin and shaped iniquity. So because we're a believer, he comes in with this divine power. You know you shall receive power after that the Ruach HaKadosh has come upon you. King James Version say you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. The Spirit of the Most High gives you the ability to live a life that you couldn't before. And you got to remember that. That's why you can't subscribe to doctrines that will put in you, you should not surely die. Like the serpent put in Eve, you should not surely die. Well, she died, her husband, and all of mankind. Don't go for the same banana in the same tailpipe. We got Wake up. He's, he's, he's given us supernatural ability to, uh, to obey if we want to. Supernatural ability. Your, your, your flesh going to be kicking and screaming, but you have supernatural ability to live a life and you're going to learn how to live it through knowledge, through studying, right? According uh, as his divine power has given unto us all things pertaining unto life and yodliness through the knowledge of him that has called us unto glory and virtue. We're going to keep going, y'all, for first whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises. By these you might be partakers of the divine nature. Look at that. Whereby are, are given unto us exceeding and great precious promises. And through this, 
that by these you might be partakers of the divine nature. What is the divine nature? Do you know? The divine nature is Yah's nature. We take on Yah's nature. Because greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. That's why he said, blesses the man that endureth temptation. Because you now have a divine nature. Through the word, through the knowledge of the word, you take on his characteristics. You're going through a mind renewal process. I beseech you, I beg you by the mercy of Yah, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. Holy and acceptable on the Yah, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. It, it's, it's a whole new ball game jumping off now. And we really got to get that. It's not church as usual. Too many people done busted hell wide open coming from church. It's time to get a true relationship with him. It's time for you to study too. Know the word too. Stop cussing too. Get out the bed too. Put the drugs down too. It's time for you because, because it's about to rain down fire. Don't get it twisted. I'm not going to go there right now, but don't, don't please be not deceived. Y'all's not mine. Whereby are giving unto us exceeding great and precious promises that by these you might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in this world through lust. What is the corruption in this world through lust? Sin. Ain't nothing in the world but the lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. Ain't, no, ain't nothing. Oh, uh, Beverly, we're going to preach it today, see. But ain't nothing in the world but the lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. And between the lust of the flesh... The lust of the eye, the pride of life, will have you screwing, cussing, getting high and drunk, clubbing, wearing thongs, you know, showing everything you got, scandalous as I don't want, I don't know what, a liar, a good one, smooth, slick, slithering. All this is finna be judged. Revelation, the seals is opening right now. Food is towed up and it's finna be non-existent. They didn't spray so many doggone chemtrails. Stuff ain't growing right. They got plastic lettuce, y'all. They got fake eggs. Do you hear me? They got a whole grocery list of food that they're making in the laboratory. It ain't growing out the ground. They didn't tow the ground up. They it's finna they fit they they causing racial wars. They cause in racial war. They they know exactly what they do. America, the, the, the Babylonian whore finna get nuked. It's they finna burn this joker down. They already got China and Russia in place with a, a whole new uh, uh economic structure. The dollar is finna just come on, y'all. Wake your game up. We gotta wake up, Melissa. Thanks for chiming in. Oh, we're gonna preach today, Sandra. Believe it. So whereby giving on to us exceeding and greater promises, right? Uh, Melissa, we in 2 Peter 1. But look what it says. Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises. By these you might be partakers of the divine nature. That's your escape. Because the wages of sin is death. We got to take on a divine nature. A nature that's not of man. It come from Yah. That's why he baptized himself inside of us. He gave us what we needed. See, see. It's a truth in the lie that they teach. The truth is we're only human. That's the truth. And we have a corrupt nature, a fallen nature, a sinful nature that's enmity against Yah. That's true. But what makes it a lie is they conclude that to, like you can do whatever you want and still be saved as long as you believe. That's where the lie come in. But to put it in its proper perspective... Because of our fallen nature and we believed him, we didn't call him a liar and we believed that he can rescue us. We believe that he died on the, the tree for our sins and we accept him as master of our life. Then he baptized himself inside of us. We was baptized into his death. He baptized inside of us, giving us the power to resurrect like the, the, uh, that, like the most high raised him up. Uh, from the grave, even so weak, now can walk in the newness of life through the power of his spirit that he, 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 he gave to us. Greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. So now I have choice. See, 
I can obey my fallen nature. I really can. I can go uh, commit adultery. I can lie. I can cuss. Hey, man, uh, 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 Beverly, Beverly tell you, I, I was raised up in North Oakland on 49. I was the rawest one with these paws over there in my age bracket, period. <laughs> yeah, that's what I used to do. But I'm saved from now. I don't do that no more. I'm not into that. That means nothing. Out there in the street getting money and all, that don't mean nothing. I thank y'all that he, he, he had mercy on me and I survived. Some folks didn't survive. It's crazy out there. You, you got to take on a new nature. I ain't no good guy. Not no nice guy. It's the rule of Hakadet. I repented. I was baptized into his death. And like if he was raised up by the power of the Father, even so me, I got to walk in the newness of life. I got to take on his divine nature. Women look good. Feel me? Uh, 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 uh. To women, hopefully men look good. Feel me? The one you married to ain't the only one look good. People make you angry. People will test you. People will try you. But you got to take on a divine nature. Because if you live in your fallen nature, you're going to get with them. You're going to get with them in the bed. You're going to get with them in the fist fight. You're going to have the shootout. You're going to sell the drugs. You're going to be slick while you're going to church. No. Whereby giving unto us exceeding and great precious promises. That by these you might be partakers of the divine nature. Having escaped... We got to escape the corruption that is in this world through lust, through our evil desires. We got to escape the capture of our own selves, the capture of our evil nature sitting up in church, scandalous as I don't know what. We got to escape the man in the mirror. We got to escape the woman in the mirror. The gospel came and exposed the man in the mirror, the woman in the mirror, and we admitted it, but we believe that the Messiah died on, on the tree for our sins, and we confessed it. That don't mean continue in sin. Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? The word said, no, y'all forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Know ye not as many as were baptized in Yahushua was baptized into his death? Like as he was raised up by the power of the Father, even so we should walk in the newness of life. So we're given, he's given on us exceeding great promises, right? That we can become a new creation. That he forgave us for our, our past sins, according to Romans the third chapter. Our past sins. Because moving forward, we don't plan on saying the sin. What you apologizing and repenting for and you plan on to continue in it? That don't even make no sense. But that's what we were taught. We were taught in a way that is like the doctrine of Balaam. The devil kept his clutches on us even though we was in church because it's the doctrine of Balaam. If you could just keep them in sin, sin is the problem. Disobedience to the most high. If man was obeying the most high like they should, none of this stuff would be happening right now. None of, this, none of these children would be born in, out of way a lot. None of these wars will be going on in rumors of war. None of these pest, pestilence and famines will be happening. None of it. None of these racial wars. None of, the, none of this fake food out here. And you can't be complaining about the issues and you're a part of it. You're still swinging on poles. You're still hopping in and out of beds. You're still on the end of all the blunts. Your lips is puckered up on the tip of the, the liquor bottle. You're still rocking your apple bottoms with your lips on the liquor bottle. Hitting the throttle. Running around here like a scandalous role model. Oh, I was rapping. Whereby giving on us exceeding a great precious promises. That by these you might be partakers of the divine nature. Don't you want the divine nature? Because that's the goal. We're, we're being rescued from ourselves. We love to blame the devil. No, you're being rescued from yourself. Because Adam didn't have to roll with the devil. Adam could have told his wife no. He rolled with his wife, and his wife was bit by the devil. And they all end up jacked up. You, you ain't got to roll with the devil. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, when he is tested, he shall receive a crown of life, which the Most High has promised to them that love him. And he said, if you love me, keep my commandments. You've got to do what I say. Fifth verse. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. And besides this, right? Look at this. He said, don't stop there. He ain't, he ain't even finished. He said, besides that, you, 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 you got some promises that's going to allow you to be a partaker of the divine nature, a nature that wasn't yours. You weren't born with this nature. 
You were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. So you got to, through the knowledge, you got to know the word. You got to start studying to show yourself approved, to be a partaker of this divine nature, having escaped the corruption. You ain't who you used to be no more. Having escaped the corruption. And the corruption is, 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 is birth from sin. See, the wage of sin is corruption, a.k.a. death. <clears throat> and besides this, right? Given all diligence, like you serious about this. You know you bought your paper? No, you serious about your soul about right now, right? <clears throat> and besides this, given all diligence, right? You didn't already escape. Add to your faith virtue. Now, we know that faith without works is dead. So the faith that this is talking about is you believe what the Most High say and you're doing it. Are you with me? You're doing it. And you're doing it with moral excellence. You're even a moral person. You're not living in sin, but now he's saying to add some moral value to your lifestyle, right? And to virtue, knowledge. Now, your moral uh, uh, excellence is not based on self-righteousness. It's based on the knowledge of Yah, based on knowledge of the word. Not your pet peeves and, and you know, what you learn from none of that matter. You know, sit like this and you got to fold the napkin like this and I'll balance the book on your... That's your business. Go on and balance the book, fold it how you do. Do the hospital corners and put on the fitty sheet on the bed. That's cool. Bounce the quarter off of it. But that ain't what it's talking about. Add to your moral excellence the knowledge of the word so you don't get caught up in your own self-righteousness, right? And to knowledge temperance. Know when to say when. Know what to say, when to say it. Know when to be quiet. Temperance. In other words, you're growing. And temperance, patience. While you're being temperate and you have moral value, you're obeying Yah, be patient. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with others. Learn to wait on Yah, and he's going to bring it to pass. And to patience, yahliness. Now you're acting just like Yah. And to yahliness, brotherly kindness. You're, you're hospitable. You care about the welfare of others. You go out of your way for people. Yeah, I'll give you a ride. Yeah, I'll loan it to you. In fact, you ain't got to pay me back. You're going through rough times right now. And to yalliness, brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness, charity. Not only am I kind, I will give you the sandwich. I'll buy it for you. I will pay for the groceries. I'll give you the ride, and, and, and you ain't got to, come on, somebody, and you ain't got to give me no gas money. I know it's hard on you right now. For if these things be in you, now come on, watch the teaching, y'all. For if these things be in you and abound, they make they, they make you that you shall never be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of Adonai, Yahushua HaMashiach. Did y'all hear that? Look, look, we started off when all these things came through the knowledge, right? Look at this. Uh, 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 second verse. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of Yah and of Yahushua, the Messiah, right? And then you turn to run in the third verse, according to his divine power, hath given unto you all these things pertaining on the life and yodliness through the knowledge of him that has called you, uh, called us onto glory and virtue. You notice that? It keep telling you, you got to know the word. You got to know him. You got to be able to meditate in his word both day and night because the word is what's going to cause you to change. What's up, Adriel? The word is what's going to cause you to change, to cause you to take on that divine nature. It's a divine nature that comes through the knowledge. Come on, somebody. You got to know the word. You got to know him. You got to study to show yourself approved, right? And so now you're adding. Now that you've escaped through his divine nature that you put on, you have escaped the corruption that is in this world through lust, right? And now you're given diligence to grow, to add uh, a faith to, uh, to add to your faith, virtue, to your uh, virtue, knowledge, to your knowledge, temperance, to temperance, patience, to, and the patience, yalliness, and the yalliness, brotherly kindness, and the brotherly kindness, charity, right? And if these things be in you, right? If you do that, you're growing, right? And abound, that they make you that you shall never be barren nor unfruitful. Look, in the knowledge, you're learning your, the, the most high. You're learning his character, you're not only learning your, his character, you're putting it on. You're learning his character because you're going to exemplify it. You want to mimic it. You want, you want to follow it. You want to become 
just like him through the knowledge of uh, Adonai, uh, uh, Yahushua, uh, our Messiah. Night first. Woo, look what it say now, though. But he that lacked these things is blind. See, the blind lead the blind, they both fall in the ditch. False doctrine will kill you. That's right, Tammy. False doctrine will kill you, will cause you to be a religious person, having a form of yawliness but denying the power. The power to become a new creation, a new creature in him. The word says, not this false doctrine, that want to call you a sinner, want to tell you how filthy you are. Thank God for Jesus dying on the cross. And then you get to you get to walk away filthy. You still get to go to the club. You still get to get drunk and high. You still get to lay up with everybody. You still get to act a fool and you still going to heaven. You got to get that poison out of you. That's the doctrine of Balaam. You've been fooled. You've been tricked. Just like the serpent tricked Eve in the beginning. You've been had and real bad. Shake, your, shake that church stuff off you. Come on, somebody. Having a form of yachtiness denying the power of the earth. That camp stuff that want to put you under the law. <coughs> shake, shake it off. Because look, look what the word say. We ain't going with what man say. Look what the word say. <clears throat> but he that lack these things is blind. He didn't lack having the divine nature, having escaped the corruption of this world through lust. He didn't lack adding virtue to his faith and, and knowledge to the, to the virtue and temperance to the knowledge and, and patience to the temperance and yawliness to the patience and brotherly kindness. He didn't lack these things. Look, he didn't lack these things is blind and cannot see afar off and have forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. How plain is that? Terry Jones, talk back to me. How plain is that? But he that lacked these things is blind and cannot see afar off and have forgotten that he was purged from his old sin because he got up on the ministry and the preacher told him he was a sinner saved by grace. Told him that he can't stop sinning. Told him that he's only human. And he believed it just like the snake told Eve. You shall not surely die. You're just going to be wise. Y'all don't want you to be wise. He hating on you. Thank, thank, thank y'all you met me. <laughs> That's what the devil told her. And these preachers has preached that same spirit. It's tan folks head off. The blind lead the blind. They both fall in the ditch. Got the character of y'all all jacked up. Boy, guy got him looking like he playing games with people. Telling it's not his will that any should perish, but all come unto repentance. Then he turn around and let fo some folks go to hell and he choosing some. Then, oh, that old crazy stuff, man. But here we go. But he that lacketh these things is blind, right? That's what the words say. And cannot see afar off. And have forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. Wherefore, the rather, brother, give diligence to make your call in the election sure. In other words, check yourself. In other words, examine yourself to see whether you be in the faith. In other words, prove to your prove your own self how that Yahushua is in you, lest you be reprobates. Prove your own self. Prove that you're saved to you. Prove that you can stay out the bed. Prove you can stop cussing. Prove that you can stop defiling your temple. You prove it, because greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. And whoever saved, he gave them a divine nature. He gave them precious promises that will enable them to become anew, to change, to be morphed. You going to hit the wrong way, something about the rule of Hakadesh, the spirit in you will check you, tell you to go back, apologize, stop, turn around, repent. You can, call, 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 you can start tripping and you got to shake yourself. You don't want to get bit by no false doctrine when you tripping because if you get hit, but with some false doctrine, you're justified and think that it's natural and to think you're on your way to heaven anyway. But if you if, if you're sober minded and can understand that that he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off and have forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. When was you purged from your old sin? When you received the, the, the gospel and admitted you was a sinner. And then you confessed it and then you forsook it. You 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 repented, you turned from it. You were purged from your old sin. When you accepted the Messiah as master of your life, you was purged from your old sin when you was baptized into his death, experiencing being born again. You, you, you denounced your first birth. You denounced that evil life you was living. 
You denounce being a hustler, being slick, being a murderer. You denounce shooting people. You denounce selling drugs to get your money. You denounce being a liar, a pimp, a player, a thought. You denounce that. You ain't got a right to, to, to post cussing. You can't cuss folks out. You can't forgive me, y'all. I just, you know, I just had a bad. All oh, that is gone. Repent and do it quickly. All oh, that's gone. We need to come anew. Because he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off and hath forgotten that he was purged from his old sin. Well, for rather, brother, give all diligence. Give diligence to make your calling and election sure to yourself. Proof. Proof. You got something to prove. Even to yourself and to others, but start with yourself. To prove that which is good and acceptable in the perfect will of the Most High. For if you do these things, ooh, you shall never fall. Uh-oh. Do you know what that means? Watch this. Wherefore, the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, you shall never fall. Well, you want to know what that means? I know you do. So I'm going to tell you. I'm going to show you. Well, I can't, you know, I don't know how to use this like this. So y'all have to look it up for yourself. But go, go to your Strong's Greek Concordians, right? And look up the word fall <clears throat> in 2 Peter 1 and 10. So you can know what it means, right? Uh, the phonic spelling is uh, 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 patayo, 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 right? Transliteration is P-T-A-I-O. And the phonics is patayo, right? And the short definition is Stumble, fall, sin. So it means you will never stumble, or you will never fall, or you will never sin. Let that sink in. Sin. You can get, you can get to the point through his divine nature that you're not going to cuss him out. Be angry, but sin not. You're not going to sleep with them. Blesses the man that endure temptation. That don't mean you're not going to be tempted. That don't mean you're not going to be tempted. If they look good and you're your cup of tea, you can't help that. If they make you angry, you can't help that. But it says, uh, be angry, but sin not. If they look good, they just, just walk away. No, I ain't doing No, I'm not sneaking with you. No, I'm not going to tell that lie. I'm going to assemble. I'm going to love. I'm going to forgive. Yeah, they was wrong, but I'm going to forgive them. Like he forgave me. Because I know if he do not, if I do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will my heavenly father forgive me mine. I'm going to forgive them. I'm going to cut out whatever pulling on me. You let me go. Because I'm going to obey him. Is y'all with me? Did you look it up? Look it up. I, I don't want to add nothing to it. Wherefore the rather, brother, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. You make sure you belong to him. You make sure. Don't let no preacher preach you into heaven and you ain't going. Time out for having a, fu a funeral and a, and a joker get up, make uh, 150 uh, the $600 preaching a funeral and lie and put that joker in heaven. That joker didn't go to heaven. That pimp didn't go to heaven. That player didn't go to heaven. That thought didn't go to heaven. Can I talk like that? See, I don't want to talk about your fallen folk and you get mad at me. But you better wake up. You can't, I don't care, I don't care what they meant to you. There's a whole lot of people that meant something to somebody and they was of the devil. And you could be too. And don't let nobody lie. It's, it, it, look, it's telling you to make your election sure. You make sure you saved. You make sure you obeying them. You make sure that you are called out of the darkness into the marvelous light. You better make sure. Laid up with somebody, call on him. When the wrath come, it's not going to be cool, y'all. Renee, thanks for chiming in. It's going down, boy. <laughs> you better make sure you saved. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the unyali. You, you don't want to be under the influence of fake preachers, of fake church folks, fake prophets, folks running around with a group of women. None of them ordained, and they know a couple of scriptures, and it's a group of them, a bunch of witches running around ministering to people. And all. Get saved. Church hopping, wandering stars, they're called. Floating around, folk, 
folks ordaining themselves with, with Facebook pulpits. Come on, somebody. Land in a building where they got Catholicism everywhere. Christmas, Easter, all that paganism everywhere. Folks won't repent. Don't nothing matter to person people that's fornicating and adultery. I, I can't tell a person the Messiah's true name and they and they committing adultery and fornicating. They're drunk. They getting high. They don't care. They, they gonna roll with what they was taught when they were growing up. They ain't living it. They gonna roll, they don't care. You gotta care for someone to correct your broken theology. You got to care. No, I mean really care. Because when you start tampering with a person's belief system, that's heavy for people. I'm talking about super heavy. That, that's, the, that's one of the heaviest things you can deal with is if you come to a person and insinuate that they might know what they thought they knew. That's heavy. And the only way they'll be willing to consider it and make adjustments if they really love him. They got to really love him. They can't be the type of person that's barely saved because they believe they're going to heaven irregardless of what they do anyway. So you come in with another truth. It's not. Sha Shaul went through a religious shock because he loved the Most High so much that he was willing to kill believers, believing that they were blaspheming against the Most High. And he thought Yahusha and his followers was blaspheming and he wanted them dead. He held the coats of them that when they killed Stephen, when they stoned him to death. The, uh, the, uh, the Mashiach had to knock him off his donkey to stop him. He was on his way to Damascus to get some letters because he wasn't playing. He was a ride or die, but he was wrong. And it took the word to knock him down, put scales on his eyes to prove to him that he was religiously blind and he was headed the wrong way and he had to repent. But he cared. The reason why it worked the reason why the world was able to knock him down is because he really did care. He really did it out of ignorance. He said, the most high had mercy on me because I did it out of ignorance. He was ignorant. He didn't know no better. If he knew better, he'd do better. And when he found out, he changed. So like begging people to correct him in theology, I'm trying to at least get them to stop sinning. <laughs> get out the bed, put the cigarettes down. Quit cussing people out. Quit thinking it's cute. Quit reminiscing in what a pimp you were. And you can't let it go. It was the heyday. My heyday. Let that go. You can say your heyday if you said, I killed it. I crucified it. I'm not proud of it. I, I had to take on the divine nature. There is a divine nature that comes with from the most high. If we get out of that uh, churchy mentality... His spirit living inside of you is the divine nature. And they say you shall receive power. You have the ability to tell yourself no through the power of his spirit living inside of you. The spirit of the word. Because if you notice, the word has power. He said, let there be light and there was light. If that word is living inside of you, it's going to break forth and shine light in your soul. The word will say inside of you, let, let there be light. That's a divine nature being quickened. Quickened means to be made alive. It's the spirit that quickened it. The flesh profits nothing. These words that I speak unto you are spirit and life. Yachanan 6 and 63, y'all. They call him John. St. John 6 and 63. The word has a way of making you alive. The word is what gives you your divine nature. That's why I say it all happened through the knowledge. It's through the knowledge of the word, knowing what Yah expects of you. We can get into last day and what's really going on. And that eschatology is important. If you really want to understand the word, first you got to find out who true Israel is. Then you'll be, then the word will open up and you'll be able to uh, 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 learn eschatology. But if you never learn eschatology, learn this, that the word came to rescue you from you. Because all have sinned and come short. They, they promoting it so bad. Man, everybody running around here horny. Everybody got to take a cold shower. Everybody got everything. They got just wrapped up and gift packed and strings and ties and nipples and bows and everything popping and tight and wrapped and saran wrapped up and glistening. <laughs> they promoting it. You can't even, you, they, they have a Bible in between two breasts. Uh, trying to, you trying to buy a Bible and it's between two big old hammers. 
the, the, the devil, the prince of the air, trying to kill everybody, trying to keep, keep us all in sin so he can destroy us. Doctrine of Balaam, the most high going to bless them if they're obeying him. But if you get them to sin, I can't curse them while they're obeying y'all. But if you get them jokers to sin and they're flooding, they're flooding our children. YouTube and these movies, they got sex symbols in the cartoon. They're killing us. They've been anointed by, by the devil to destroy the earth. His children is destroying the earth. And they're able to do it because of sin. Misery love company. And they want us all to go down with them. And if you in sin in church, in sin, you going to hell. Believe that mess. Don't you believe them lies? Believe them lies if you want to. Ninth verse say, he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off and hath forgotten that he was purged from his old sin. You forgot. How you forget? False doctrine. Had you went to a ministry that reminded you that the wage of sin is death, you wouldn't have forgot. But 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 they got into youth church and and, and all their auxiliaries and we're only human and and thank God for Jesus dying on that rugged cross. Oh, well, I'm just a sinner saved by grace. He ain't even looking you in the eye. He's looking dead at your chest. I'm just a sinner saved by grace. And you say, amen, pastor, and you bounce it. Time out for that. Time out for the silly stuff. If my people which are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn. We got some turning to do, y'all. Turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven. I forget their sins and I hear their land. Everybody on the sound of my voice need their land healed. Everybody. We all need to be forgiven, period. Ain't no, all of, uh, 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 came up short. You got to understand uh, uh, past tense from future tense though when they say all have sinned and come short that's past tense because it's talking to people that's supposed to have repented and when it says that he became a propitiation for our sins if you look at it he said he became a propitiation for our past sins because when the gospel the good news the word came to us we were supposed to repent remember and turn so now our sinful lifestyle is in the past we repented, remember? We repented, turned from it. I don't do that no more. The word came exposed that I was a pimple player. I'm sleeping with somebody I ain't got no been sleeping with. I'm drinking and cussing and lying. I'm violent as heck and I don't play. I'm not the one to play with. Remember we said that? Oh, uh, you don't know who you're playing with. All that, all that is behind us now. That's why Romans the third chapter say he became a propitiation for our past sins. Because moving forward, we should be looking on to Yahusha, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. He didn't lack these things, y'all. I ain't going to keep you. This was enough heat in this message to burn up all kind of sins. I'm going to get ready to get out of here, right? But he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off. Y'all heard me fussing at my children coming in here when I'm trying to teach. But he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off. And have forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. That's when you got saved. Don't forget. He was purged. No more Facebook posts talking crazy. He was purged. I know you hot and bothered. Leave him alone. If they don't belong to you, ain't married to him, leave him alone. He was purged. Don't get to pointing out, you know, I've been growing, but this is one thing I don't play. Y'all know me. Y'all know me. Y'all know me. They shouldn't even know you no more. Not like that. They should know the new you. They should be able to see your good works and magnify your father, which is in heaven. But you got to sit up under real teaching in order to, it's through the knowledge, remember? You got to have the knowledge of the true word. Otherwise, you'll have a form of your audience denying the power thereof. Otherwise, you'll cuss them out, and then you're going to come back with a bunch of church cliches. Before you see it, you're going to say a bunch of church, uh, church uh, uh, fallen church man cliches like, 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 don't make me lose my religion now. I ain't that saved. I'm saved, but I ain't that. Don't you take uh, my meekness for weakness now. You know, I'm saved, but I ain't delivered. No, that old satanic stuff. Yeah, that'll be you. But you need to take on the divine nature. 
because he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see you far off and have forgotten you forgot. Like Roy Joe saying, you must have forgot. You forgot that you were purged from your old sins. That's how you, that's how you ended into a true relationship with him. Because you was purged from your old sins. You admitted you were wrong and you repented. Stay repentant. Don't be double-minded. Because a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Either you with him or you're not. If you're with him, stay with him. Be silent. We didn't mess with a wishy-washy folks in the world. We did not, we didn't, we, uh, you can't run with me. Who you with? You be over there with them. What you trying to do? Set me up? We didn't mess with them. You better get up out of here while you can, man. And now we want to play that with y'all. Double-minded man is unstable in all his way. Get solid with y'all. Come on, y'all. He that, I'm, I'm leaving for real this time, but he that he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see it far off. And I've forgotten he was purged from his old sin. That should destroy false doctrine in your soul. I know he was raised in a, probably a whole bunch of it too. But that, -uh, not, that old sinner saved by grace, unless you understand you're an ex-sinner saved by his unmerited favor, the unearnable power to become new, taking on the divine nature. You now have a divine nature through him, through his word, through the incorruptible seed. You shall receive power after that incorruptible seed, the living word, baptized itself inside of you. He's inside of you, leading and guiding you. And yes, your flesh is going to be kicking and screaming, trying to get you to go against the word. The flesh lusts against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. These are contrary one to another. But he said, but you, so you cannot do what you want to do. You're going to want to do some stuff. Don't claim it. You're going to want to do it. Don't claim it. Quit naming and claiming to get paid. And name and claim your victory in him. That you're a new creation. You're in Yahushua. You're a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. I'm closing out, Jackie. Good to see you chiming in. You get a chance to listen to the whole thing. It's a good one. He that lacketh these things is blind and can not see afar off and have forgotten that he was purged from his old sin. Huh. Wherefore, because of this, wherefore, the rather, brother, I'm finna leave y'all, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Make sure you're saved. For if you do these things, I know what the preacher told you. You can't stop sinning. Well, the Mashiach told you the Messiah, the, the Savior of our souls, in Matthew 5 and 48 said, be perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. You can deny yourself if you want to. If you don't believe you can obey Yah, quit whooping your kids for not listening to you. I, I know you said come in at 10, but 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 it's 4 o'clock in the morning. I just couldn't. I, you know, you know, I'm a sinner saved by grace like you. If you ain't going for it, what makes you think he is? Wherefore, rather, my brother, give diligence to make your call and election sure. For if you do these things, you shall never. If you do these things, what he told you to do, you shall never fall. I ain't going against it. What about you? Let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come for the gleaning in your word. Praying that your word went forth with clarity, falling down the souls of your children, springing up an everlasting life. You said if your people which are called by your name will humble themselves and pray and seek your face, turn from their wicked ways. Then you'll hear from heaven. You'll forget their sins and you'll hear their land. We need it desperately. It's going bananas down here. You sit high and look low. Man, they're messing up everything. The food, they they tracking us. They got tracking divided. They got Google telling you everywhere you go. They got Facebook Messenger. They got flat screen TVs just looking at you, recording everything. They got games you to hook up. They want you to be quiet so they can Listen through your house. They got so many ways of killing us through the medicine and just killing the holistic doctors. We need you desperate and liars. We need you desperately. They're turning Walmarts into uh, uh, contra, uh, 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 whatever you call them, camps, uh, uh, the tent cities everywhere. We need you desperately. Wake us up. We've been so blinded by sin, we can't even see that they're destroying us, that, that the enemy is, is closing in, closing, tightening the noose on us. Deliver your children. Wake us up spiritually, even right now. Cause us to stop playing the church game and get saved for real before it's everlasting too late. 
cause Israel that's waking up to who they are to come from up under the law. You're going too far. Give revelation right now. It's beautiful to know who you are and want to know your heritage, but don't go back under the law. The law workers wrath. <laughs> oh, help us. We believe that your word will forth with clarity and to save your children even thereby by the knowledge of your word. We trust and believe that it's done. In the matchless name of Yahushua Mashiach, we only pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah and all man. I love y'all. I, I really do. That's what's up, Jackie. I'm going to wake y'all up. I'm waking up too. You wake up, you do this. Ah, wake up. Man, this this life will try to get you. You feel me? You can't let it. Great is he that's in us and he that's in the world. We got to wake up spiritually because it's getting rough. Oh, they finna collapse this joker, man. What you going to do then? Then anybody going to want to go to church? Come on, y'all. Wake up now. Repent before it's everlasting too late. Look, if the lesson blessed you, and I pray that it did, I really do. I pray that you learned something. I pray that it demolished false doctrine. I'm going to keep coming after that false doctrine. People say what they want. I'm coming for you, devil. But if the lesson blessed you and it's caused you to see clearer, push share. Share it. It can literally change somebody's life. It can be the matter of life and death, hell or heaven, in eternity. Push the share button. Hundreds of views, 12 shares. Can you share the lesson if it's true? If it ain't, don't bother. Erase it if it ain't true. But if it's true, push share. Please. Everyone should support ministry. Everybody. Do you have that revelation? Because if you do, if, I'm not saying it is, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm being honest with you, I'm not saying it is. I believe it is, but I'm not saying it is. That's up to you and what to do in your soul. If, this ministry is blessing you. Please so, so we can continue to do what we do. We work in the community. We work with kids. We preach truth. We clothe. We do everything we can to be a blessing to the people of Yah and those that's going to be called out of the darkness into the marvelous light. For Yah so loved the world. We're trying to bless everybody. Please so into the ministry. All you got to do is go to PayPal. Go to DerekMan5857 at Yahoo.com. That's D E R R I C K M. A N N fifty eight fifty seven at yahoo dot com. I'm pretty sure Cole Reader B is gonna post it in the in the message. But I love y'all. I love y'all. Continue to pray for me. You know, I can't I can't be preaching like this and then turn up in a scandal with with two other two other women on my wife and all that old crazy stuff. I can't do that, y'all. You, you can't 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 come up with a picture of me drunk. You feel me? That's <laughs> where I went with, with, with smoking a joint. That's I, I gotta live it too. Pray for me as I pray for you. We're, uh, we're on the conference line at 302-202-1102, extension 81564. 8302-202-1102, extension 81564. 8, we're on there now, and we'll be on there again in the morning, y'all permit, at 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. We do it um, uh, uh, seven, uh, uh, five, six, seven times a week on the conference line. Monday through Friday at 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and 7 and seven on Mondays and Wednesdays. I might do Thursday this one because I got something to do Wednesday night. But however, we're on seven se seven times in the week, and then we're on Sundays. I know, so called from the calendar, to know what calendar you're talking about. Saturday is the Sabbath. I'm not hating y'all, um, but as far as I'm concerned, the day of rest, the true Sabbath is the Messiah. He said, "Come unto me, all you the labor and heavy laden, and I give you rest. You'll find rest unto your souls." And that's really the rest he wanted us to, to rest from sin. And we need to do that every day. It ain't about not cleaning up and vacuuming, cleaning your house on, on Saturday. Come on. And Saturday means Saturn Day. That's sun god worship, right? And Sunday is sun god worship, like you say. You say sun god worship, that's cool. Saturn Day is, and moon day, Monday, moon day. So, come on. Forget all that paganism, what they talking about, and serve Yah every single day. Today you hear his force, harden out your heart. I better stop because I'm going to keep preaching. 302-202-1102, extension 815648. Y'all go uh, uh, give, please. Hit the, Go to PayPal, please. Give an offering and continue to pray for me. Push share. Be Baruch. Brock Shalom. I'm gone.